Hello everyone, welcome to the another Bluehead SEO series episode. In this episode, we will give you three simple search engine optimization suggestions and instructions so that you can start to implement it even tomorrow. The Bluehead SEO videos, they always unique suggestions. We don't repeat the same suggestion one more time. Most of these suggestions, they directly come from my own concepts and the inventions and the methodologies. But since my SEO case studies are huge, like over half million words we have written in the last three years, we try to explain all these new concepts and the methods and the implementations through the real world SEO case studies. Every Bluehead SEO video actually has one website from the real world. So this one probably I will be explaining its name because it is an expired domain. And this case study or this Bluehead SEO case study with a simple language, it will be mainly about the expired domains and how to use them. The industry is fitness, health, supplement, diet, sport research, athlete, performance, and psychology. And while the language is English and the area or the region is global, the source context is basically the affiliate and the income model is basically the affiliate marketing, but actually it can be improved further by selling the personal training uh, appointments, by creating some corporations. It can also sell actual diet lists or it can create diet programs or workout programs and many other things. So it's, that part actually is about the SEO as a business development, which is the part that I love the most as a business person. When it comes to the search engine optimization understanding of this project, the first thing that you should recognize here is that the content in this area and content in this area, they are directly the same, but they are ranking different. So what changed in this part and in this part and slightly in this area and the why there is no change in this section at all. And what you will be doing if an expired domain that you bought actually is not ranking. So first of all, okay, let's give the first blue hat as your suggestion directly. First of all, please do not have the hype. Do not allow Google to actually trick you. Expired domains are working. And to be able to understand Google-like Google, Google -like companies, you need to have a business analy analyst skill like a journalist. And you will need to read maybe 20 over years. And in this context, please also do not follow the hype marketers or the Google approved Google, let's say Google approved proxies or hidden or secret ambassadors. Go and read 20 or 25 years of the search engines. Things will be, be, be very much more easier for you. So who is this Google guy? The Google guy is actually Matt Cuts, but it is not disclosed at all. And around 2003, March 7, around after midnight, he actually started to talk about expired domains and another Google Gram for webmasters. Let's read what Matt Cutt told. Hey, the index is going to be coming out real soon. And before actually until 2008 or the nine, there was no real time indexing or automatically real time indexing. Amit Single actually announced it during one of the first Google IOs. It is a very exciting moment. I will suggest you check it. I wanted to give, give people some idea of the, what to expect for the, this index. Of course, it is bigger and deeper, yeah. But we also put more of the focus on algorithmic improvements for spam issues. One resulting improvement is that index is better handling of the expired domains. The authority for a domain will be reset when a domain expires. So this is, here actually this Google person or guy tells the truth. But the issue here is that it is not that easy to be confident about the expired domains because in a single day, you will be realizing that in a single day, you will realize that actually over nearly three, three billions of blog posts are actually being published, whether quality or not. And every day, millions of new websites are being created and others are dying. So it is not that easy to understand which one actually has expired. So the first suggestion is, please read the things that other people don't read. And this way, you will stay, the stay ahead of the curve. This is what I do for the last actually seven years. I am reading probably, I am the most reading SEO on this industry. And also I am the one actually gives most detailed, comprehensive, complete case studies, researches by creating new concepts. That's why I call myself as an innovator, not the influencer. And you might not like what I am telling, but eventually you will need to be learning it. And with that context, the second suge suggestion is the brand identity. So every expired domain actually has a certain type of a certain type of brand identity. And if this is the timeline of ranking, and if there are some dead zones, if this domain has been expired, let's say three times, and if every zone has a different identity, and if you buy this domain one more time, you will need to gather the identity from every zone one by one. 
Another thing is that the reason that this expired domain didn't rank properly but later they start to rank is that it has been used as a WooCommerce store, it has been used as a Shopify store, it has been used also a kinds of drug or drug e-commerce store or drug encyclopedia or something like that too. But the real identity of this website is actually an athletic scientific research for the athletic performance and the psychology. And how you can get the identity of a brand from 20 years ago, because this, re this research website is actually from 1997 or something like that. To be able to do that, you will need to focus on any kinds of brandship signals. It will be the name of the brand, logo of the brand, colors of logo, business colors, let's say layout. And at the same time, you will need to resurrect the expired URLs. When a domain has been expired, you will need to also resurrect the old links. Resurrecting a link, and in my case that is, I didn't explain the things that I am doing in terms of the link building, but there is another word there because I was a PBN manager. And this is probably the first time that I'm ex explaining one of the concepts that I found, but basically resurrection and expired URL means that from 1997, we are finding a URL, then we are revising it, but we are protecting all the, let me write them, topical entries. Sorry for the notifications. Topical entries and contextual terms together with the answer terms. These three things are not the same. In the previous videos and in my topical authority course and the coaching session and the holistic SEO communities and long SEO case studies in a written way or the video form, I explained them. But you will need to analyze your previous URL, then you will need to resurrect this URL in the new form, but under the same URL by distributing all these things. The purpose here is that if there is any kinds of research from New York Times, Washington Post, or anywhere where is, where, where high, where is highly authoritative, if they are linking you, you will need to justify these old links by protecting the overall relevance for, to the previous version at the same time you will need to target a new query from today. If the today's query that you can rank for here is, let's say, empiric zone. It is one of the topics as much as I can remember here. So this research, let's say, from 25 years ago, it is about the empiric zone or something like that for athletic performance and the psychology. The issue here is that you also have anchor tags from highly authoritative sources for this URL and you are re reviving it, resurrecting it by focusing on this specific macro context with topical entries, contextual terms, and answer terms. But the issue here is that things that people search 25 years ago and 25 years later, they are not the same. It means that you will need to create high level of new document, high quality new document, while protecting the old context. In this way, you will be justifying that these specific type of anchor tags from old documents. So basically, when it comes to protecting the brand identity, you will need to get the name, the, co the logo, the colors, or all these highly authoritative old URLs. Then you want to create a kind of topical map that can have all these things. In this Blue Hat SEO videos, I actually explained the concept of quality note. Then I explained the trending note. And this is the third one. Even in the course, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It is the historical note. To be able to get the historical authority of a domain, you will need to revive and resurrect these historical nodes while adapting it to today's search ecosystem. But while doing that, you can't lose the previous, the previous authority in this area. The, another thing is that, maybe I can show the website later, but let's open it a little bit. You can also check it as you wish. In this specific website, you will also recognize that nothing is random. If you look at here, exercise, diet, supplement, and sport psychology. The order of these concepts here, you can call these actual topical entries to reflect our main focus. And they are ordered in the same way here. They are ordered in the same way here too, with some subsections. And they are ordered in the same way in this area too. The important thing here is that support research and support psychology. These two sections are mainly for resurrecting the old identity. And if you check the old version, the colors that I am using, the logo that I am using, they are the same. And to be able to resurrect an expired domain, please, third suggestion I am coming, please do the log file analysis. Despite I have published the most quality documents on this subject compared to the we couldn't actually 
focus the search engine to the new sections that we are creating. Maybe I can show you some of the log files if it is the possible. I am using actually Python usually, but some of these old files are also here. Let me try to open it. So if you look at here, you will realize that there are lots of actually hits when it comes to some of these areas. Let me open them. You can realize that all these volumes, these are actually old volumes and search engines actually continue to hit this. And despite we actually started to open the website again, you, we, you could realize that even if it is a 404, search engine still continues to index all PDF files, which means that actually they still consider the website with the old identity. And that's why actually I, I also refreshed all the PDF files by adding links to the new content as well. And while doing that, we also force the search engine to focus on the new content that we have in this area by using the log files. So for the third suggestion, please be sure that where search engine continues to focus on based on the previous identity as much as possible. And from there, make a log file analysis for the most scrolled ones, revive them, resurrect them and link your new content by creating relevance, not the random or directly. And while doing that, you are trying to actually re resurrect the old identity with a justification. Then you actually try to link directly the new versions by justification of this brand identity expansion. This SEO case is actually highly philosophical based on the search. And it is not a proper case for the blue head context. That's why the things that I am telling here is actually just the 1% of everything that I have done here. This case that actually deserves to be written in the long form and it will be coming. I will write an expired domain case study. For instance, if you look at these specific areas, if you want to buy an expired domain, for example, once you buy it, please res register it to the old register, for instance. Resurrect also the, the same name spaces as well. Try to be careful about these type of things to not change your design directly that much. Try to trick a little bit the search engine and try to understand what they can use to understand the ownership. For instance here, most webmasters won't notice much change, but I want to give folks some advanced notice. If your toolbar display change a little up or down, this is Google toolbar, which was showing the page rank value. Don't panic. The change I mentioned plus things like having more pages crawled in our index can affect the toolbar display. As always, the traffic and the conversions you get matter more than how many green pixels the toolbar shows. And this is actually one of the ways of the, even the Google guy says like 20 years ago, 21 years ago, he was telling that focus on a little bit what you are doing rather than the page rank, because they always try to take our attention away from the page rank. Over the next few months, I will think you will see more emphasis at the Google on scalable algorithms rather than responding to the individual spam reports. And this was the first time actually they mentioned that a spam brain system will be created for automatic spam detection and manual penalties will be coming after the algorithmic filtration according to them. So I can explain many things about this case study, but I will go beyond three. But let's check some of the results first. Let's check the years over year results. And by the way, you can see the growth here. I can't even give a number here, to be honest. I don't know how many times we created that growth. And per month section, let's check it. And I need to also tell that when, once this website wasn't ranking properly, by the way, due to the old identity issues, uh, I can tell that once to do the experiment, I have stolen all the content of this website, then I added it into a brand new domain. Exactly the same website with a new name without any page rank, any expired domain identity or ranking signals. And the content was exactly the same. And it has actually ranked higher than this one, which means that even if your content is same, a different domain, even if there's a brand new one, it can rank higher, which means that some of these type of domains are being filtered by the search engine, as this Google guy actually is telling to you. And to, buy, to be able to revive it, you will need to actually understand the search engines in a deep way. And at the same time, in this specific project, uh, in, in the topical map, we actually focused on the, the support research or athletic performance concepts more than ever, which means that to the everywhere in the website, we didn't change the brand identity and we always expanded it together with the athletic performance concept. 
And you can see these results. It, it is also affected in a positive way, by the way, from the helpful content update. Let me explain how you can interpret also the uh, performance uh, performance there. But you can realize that for the last three months, even three times bigger and nearly four times more impression we are getting. And the average position is also better too. So the, this website actually is already ranking over 80,000 different organic queries. And the only thing that we need here is just a simple re-ranking. And right now we are gathering that authority. If a simple re-ranking we get, this number here will be actually over 20 million because the query count also will be increased one more time. Only thing or only necessary thing here is continuing or constant improvement on the accuracy, perspective richness and contextual coverage at the same time. So we increased the traffic here, but I didn't allow this website to monetize heavily. And that's why we have monetized only a few, a few products. Once that product actually got the popularity, some new competition came and that's why the rankings here are dropped, not because of an algorithmic change here. For these type of situations, continue to focus on the impressions. As long as you increase the impressions, actually it is safe for you. And when it comes to the so when it comes to actually increasing your relevance and the responsiveness a little bit, I will give one more suggestion for that too. If you put your question here, please put the answer just bottom of that. Do not add an image or something just below it or do not increase the pixel distance or HTML distance or any kinds of distance between the question and answer. So the six suggestions from me, it will be about, it will be about the unit variations. If you are giving something in terms of, let's say, the calorie, make it sh make sure that you are also using sometimes joules, for instance, or you can also use different type of milligrams, liters, or different type of measurement units in your diet content or exercise content as well. The seventh suggestion from me is about actually unique visuals. I didn't allow this website to use actually duplicated visuals. In fact, the person that you see here, he is actually Erdem Özdil, the champion of bodybuilding in Turkey. He is my also gym teacher and mentor for the gym. So basically, I even use my own personal life confidence here to make the project even more unique. These images are directly coming from experts and they are directly unique. If you look at the bottom parts, you will realize that actually we added even unique videos completely. All the images are also designed in a unique way. And this was the timeline that we didn't actually have. Uh, we even didn't have the generative AI or generative fill or mid journey. So we need to do all these things. There are also videos, but I'm not able to find it. You can examine the website to find them as well. The important thing here is that, by the way, the the system that we are using for creating the content, which are external writers, they couldn't align the, everything with our project in a proper way. And the, the also investment had some issues and the problems. That's why after a point for five, last five or the six months, we couldn't publish that much things. But I kept optimizing the website further and further. We also implemented a little bit of structured data and some other things. For example, to be able to get the brand identity, we also used external website sources to qualify ourselves. We also communicated and contacted with the Wayback Machine or anywhere that are actually linking us or anywhere that are involving our past volumes, which means past issues of this research newspaper or journal. And we also changed their links, we downloaded them and we started to revive them as well. So there are many things here, as I say, probably there will be a long real holistic SEO case today about this. But first, I need to handle SEO Vice Conference, SERP Conference, Chiang Mai SEO and marriage. And also, I, I need to handle the coaching sessions and many other things are happening at the same time. And with that said, uh, one more thing, if I, if I can add for this specific SEO case, that is that the last suggestion, whether eight, whether the ninth, maybe, please don't give up. It is not about what you are doing. It is about how the search engine actually processes you. If you will be giving up in this area, this section wouldn't be happening. Semantics, take time, internal factors, rank the websites in a more permanent way. So as you know, every week I also continue to promote one of our community members. This week I will be promoting Mateusz Zwolski. He is a very good person and he published actually his results in this area and Polish SEOs always have a special place for me. I love the Polish SEO community. They are, I believe, the most talented, friendly uh, community around the globe. It is from Poland. They are highly talented, skillful. 
And here directly he says that at the beginning actually he wasn't confident but right now he is thanking us for our course and for our teachings which I also called as the Korais framework. Despite I actually created a topical authority methodology and before me even it is not talked properly. Still actually people sometimes tell that actually topical authority is not real or even if it is real they say that it, it is something else etc. That's why I changed, started to change all these things name with my own name. At least it is a kind of way of telling that okay go your own way and leave our community alone. There are a few uh, occasions of that but uh, relate that this for the last six or seven months I didn't encounter something like that. So I call all, all these things as the Korais framework because if I, if I conceptualize these things as a framework, as a pipeline, I believe you will be able to repeat this process in a better way too. And lastly, I probably I will be doing another video for our Nasdaq SEO case study. This is a company from actual Nasdaq and we are using only the semantics, not even backlinks or anything there. And the stock prices, it still didn't come back. We are working with this project actually over the two years. And once we've started, the website was taking just 300 clicks a day. And right now it is exceeding actually 10,000 clicks a day. And you can see the helpful content update and the broader algorithm update uh, wins in this area too. Probably there will be a separate video, Bluehead SEO case study for this one as well. With that said, my people, please subscribe to our newsletter. It will be the biggest promoting and also AI newsletter. When I say the promoting, I mean promoting the members because we believe in the abundance mindset. When we actually give people credit back, it doesn't harm us. And I am trying to change the culture in the SEO industry for a better version of ourselves. Love you all and see you next time. Now I need to actually prepare my bag for the Budapest. See you later.